Greg Mellick, great to have you with me this evening. Thank you very much for your time today. Now, Anzac Day has evolved quite dramatically in recent years. Do you think as a society, as a country, schooling system, we're doing enough to involve young people, to connect young people as the years move on? Or do you think we need to be doing more? Well, based upon today's attendances, I think we're probably doing enough. Although, as far as people starting to understand the sacrifices made by their forebears and their current families and friends, you can never do enough. We're also seeing in our curriculum some revolutionising of our history, our colonial history. Some would say it is being cancelled. Do you think this impacts on our understanding of the sacrifices made for this great country? Well, Anzac Day, we commemorate those who have fought since the Federation of Australia and worn the Australian uniform, or in the case of Darwin and other theatres of war like Kaura, were impacted by the escape of the Japanese. It's essentially to remember those people who have sacrificed their lives or their health in defence of this country since Federation. Look, we also saw today the Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, uh, make some remarks that others disagree with. Uh, we're now seven, the seven years into this discussion about whether we should be marking the frontier wars alongside, um, you know, as part of Anzac Day. What are your thoughts on this? No, our view is, is not part of Anzac Day. The War Memorial recognises that the frontier wars and other pre-colonial conflicts uh, actually inform what followed thereafter, and that's why the decision's been made in the new uh, galleries that the frontier wars and other pre-colonial or pre-federation uh, conflicts such as the Boer War, the Maori Wars, the Sudan and the Boxer Rebellion will be commemorated to inform what followed therefrom, and that, of course, was the wars after Australia of Federation. So what did you make of the Prime Minister's comments today then? I consider the Prime Minister's comments were very appropriate. All right, Greg Mellick, thank you very much for your time and, and lest we forget.